Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel, What This Love. My name is Corey, and today, hopefully this is not a long video, but I'm going to be showing you all of my candle empties for last month in December. I have 40 candles that I went through, so we're just going to start right off the bat. I believe they're mostly all Bath & Body Works candles. Uh, we are going to start off with Single Wicks here. So here I have the Sugared Snickerdoodle, and it was a good burn. Fragrance notes of warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. And this was, I noticed with mostly all of the single wicks, which I rarely go towards like purchasing them unless it's like a good sale for like under $5 or so, it's for I believe what they're mostly around that price during summer semi-annual sale as of that is going on right now but mostly all the ones I'm gonna show you I'll just list off the notes but they were all sort of like light fragrance throwers as for the fragrance in that but I did enjoy this next I have a strawberry snowflakes Fragrance notes of juicy strawberry, whipped cream, iced bergamot. And I do enjoy the smell. It's just, of course, it is a light fragrance. And I've never, well, I never got like the body care. I don't even think it's available anymore at my store, but I knew I did not really want to waste my money on the body care when I sprayed out myself. It did not, did not like last on my skin the moment I sprayed it. Here we have snowflakes and cashmere, notes of vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. And you definitely get that nice cashmere scent. We have gobble to your wobble. This is a fall one, leaves with the turkey. Um, and this does not have the notes on it. I think it's from last year or two years ago. But it's a nice fall scent. A gingerbread marshmallow. Uh, notes of gingerbread spice, eggnog, spice rum, vanilla frosting, and brown sugar crystals. And another clean burn. Mostly all these single wicks are a while they were a clean burn and yeah this is a nice um candle it's within the fragrance wise always love myself within gourmand candles and all that and i did burn through uh, the three wick that they came out as of um in 2021 for christmas time and that one, I don't know, it sort of gave me a headache, but of course the thing gave the single wick of that last year. Um, I couldn't even smell it all, but here we have with a grateful heart, sugared pecan pie. Another clean burn. And of course, like the wick just, of course, burned out towards the end because it was already underneath the wax and that. I have notes of... Um, gooey brown sugar filling, toasted pecans, and homemade pie crust. <laughs> but then save those nuts, make me, make myself want to have a slice of pecan pie, because that is my favorite kind of pie. And we have a, another one that we burned through. Um, here are my favorites out of the single wick, and is for one of my all-time Christmas candles is peppermint sugar cookie notes of crushed peppermint vanilla extract and creamy butter with soft soft sugar cookies so that one and that one right there and next we'll do another duo i burnt i went through to a pink fairy gumdrop single white candles i did enjoy this one Notes of sparkling sugared berries, pink cotton candy, and a sprinkle of fairy dust. And to my nose, this just smells like one of my favorites that I've been enjoying since it has come out. And Bath & Body Works is 
blush cardigan. So to my nose, this just smells like blush cardigan as a handle. Excuse the noise with then moving those around but I have to make room for the ones I'm going to be talking about next. Three wicks. Here we went through two of Forever Grateful Mahogany Balsam. And I do love this scent very much. And these don't have notes because it came out for two years ago. But I do love that um, balsam note. It's like fresh balsam but add a touch of mahogany and vanilla to it. And definitely cozy for the winter time. Next I went through flannel which I have never like burned or purchased a flannel candle until I had this one and this just smells like classic flannel as a candle which I do enjoy that men, men's fragrance and this one does not have notes on it as well and went through another strawberry snowflakes. So there is all of the single wicks that I went through and we are going to start with all the three wicks. I'll go through um, Winter Candy Apple. I think this was from 2021's packaging and I did have to throw this one in the candle crock. Notes of candy apples, crisp pears, oranges and I do enjoy the scent. So we have that one along with one, uh, two, and don't mind me, the other one is hidden underneath all the other ones. So went through three of these glass winter candy apple jars. Well, candles is for this pretty red glass jars from last year. And yeah, I would say even in my small room, I did burn one through the living room as downstairs, which I knew it would not give off that much fragrance. But um, of course, you see all the leftover wax in that. I did end up throwing that one in the crock. And this one, I don't believe so. But it's a nice, 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 <laughs> light fragrance. Excuse me, but I could not talk today. Um, for like the holiday time, and of course it smells like body care, so can't really complain that much. Here we went through two Palo Santo candles, which I remember as of last holiday season, I burnt through these and... Like, the fragrance was really strong in that, but for these two, I could hardly smell them in my room. So, I don't know if they decided to water down the scent as within, like, how it smells when lit. But, of course, on cold, it smells wonderful. But you have notes of Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk. So, that's how that one burned. And how... This one burned as well. Next is a fall candle that I decided to get towards, I think it was the 50% off um, fall candle sale or might have been when they were $12.95 during that time. But this is Sweet Cinnamon Plum. And it's a juicy plum, cinnamon apples, and ground clove buds. And this is a nice um, plum. Apple, of course, I just <laughs> mentioned the notes. I don't really know, like, how the best way to describe candle scents, which, of course, I've been doing these videos and that, but I even get, I don't know, sort of a creamy pomegranate, like, it's sort of like a fall version of Land of Sweets, like, sugar, sugared pomegranate to my nose, but I did enjoy that one. Same situation that goes for this candle right here, which I do have one more in my collection right above my phone. This is Mahogany Vanilla. I enjoyed the scent as within burning it last year, but it's like they watered down the scent when it, of course, is lit. Excuse me, I have notes of warm vanilla, 
fresh bergamot and sweet sandalwood. So it's definitely, excuse me again, it's definitely a sweet vanilla with that mahogany. And I do enjoy this candle. Just hate that. Of course, I could hardly smell it when it was lit. Next, sort of tying in with the men's fragrance candles. Uh, we have black tie. I burned through many of these and I enjoyed the scent. Green sage, sandalwood, and tonka bean. It's a nice burn. Uh, this one right here, this, when lit, actually, it must have been too hot because the label started peeling and all that. And, of course, how I put my candles out, I just put the lid, like, on top. I know it's for myself i don't believe that's the best way to put them out but i'd rather much not blow them out if they're mushrooming on the top and of course i don't want to smell smoke in my room after a nice fragrant candle so this is cozy cashmere smooth lavender warm vanilla pink jasmine and comforting sandalwood yeah this is sort of a nice bathroom scent it was light in my room here we burn through uh, two winter candles, which this is sort of as the same situation with Palo Santo. Um, it's just a light thrower, which I didn't really particularly like because winter is one of my favorite holiday candles, even though that's sort of changing and it's being uh, replaced by peppermint hot chocolate that is burning in that little holiday Christmas candle wraparound holder right there on my top of my dresser. So that's how that one burned. And this one there, and of course was a little setting on top. You have notes of white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, and spiced clove. And you do get all the notes in this candle, even when course it's not lit or lit but next is white barn black teakwood another nice burn which I believe I threw this in the candle crock as well because the wicks are sort of far apart nets of rich mahogany black teakwood dark oak and frosted lavender so notice is within last month I enjoyed many candles that had like mahogany sort of that sexy <laughs> vanilla um with a hint of lavender you have cashmere um sort of my favorite as for gourmand cookie scented candles which that leads me to this which on candle day i did buy a whole crate so six of these this is the new uh relabeling and packaging of paris cafe one of my favorites, rich coffee, brioche, and vanilla creme. And yes, it just, it's a lovely, sexy coffee scent. And I'm just obsessed with coffee. I usually have an ice sugar free vanilla coffee large from McDonald's every single morning when I get off of work or like if I'm not working sort of in the afternoon. That's one way I keep myself awake in the morning. But this is a nice coffee, should I say a lovely coffee scented candle. And it reminds me of Starbucks every time I smell it. Here is a recently new collection that came out during Candle Day, Ginger Lime Twist. I did enjoy this and I love the wraparound packaging. You have notes of fresh lime zest, fizzy ginger beer, and crushed mint leaves. And when I first first smell this and even when it's lit it reminds me of the uh, lemon and ginger kombucha which if you've never tried that that is like uh, the drink of this candle so definitely recommend this one if it is still in your store here we have one of my favorites I love anything banana chocolate is if you've been watching my channel as I mentioned how many times, which Chris I'm probably annoying is within saying so, but like gourmand cookie, um, chocolate, chocolate banana, I'm like hello, I love this candle so much. Chocolate banana mudslide is a clean burn. 
for the whole way to the bottom. And you have notes of frozen bananas, chocolate syrup, crushed ice, and a splash of rum. Like, I would love if I would have a drink of this candle right now. Definitely it would put me in a sort of relaxing winter feel, which I am. But I would enjoy a little chocolate banana mudslide in the summertime, which that's when this collection, I believe, came out during summer semi-annual sale. Here I went through a perfect Christmas from last year's packaging, which I adore with the glass ceramic Santa lid. And this one was sort of um, not the best at burning, as you can see. I think I, which is my fault, it's for halfway, you can see this uh, right there. That was sort of the halfway mark. I think I let this burn more than four hours one morning. And it, Ever since then, it was just all set until the bottom. But you have notes of fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallows. So here I am burning this year, well, last year's version of the perfect Christmas while I have two candles sitting on my little candle display in front of me. And I have, yeah, two of the perfect Christmas candles from. The previous couple of years beforehand, I've never even burned. So here we have cinnamon sugared pecans. And this was a nice one, although it was sort of light. You have warm cinnamon, toasted pecans, and brown sugar. So I did enjoy this with the lovely yellow, tan, brown packaging with the Christmas tree and stars. Here out of the Ginger Line Twist Collection, you have Pink Rose and Leather, and this is definitely a sexy rose with that leather like bedtime scent, which I do remember is for always lighting this one in the evening, which I didn't enjoy this. You have notes of supple leather, blooming rose petals, and comforting patchouli, and you get all those notes in this candle definitely excuse me recommend this one uh here i went through coconut and sand coconut sandalwood which this i got during or after candle day notes of coconut palm luxurious sandalwood warm musk and jasmine and this was a light thrower as well and I don't know if it's like with the new uh, repackaging of candles is from like older scents or new scents like they have these puny wicks and that's for the Paris cafe candles well and I don't know if it's with those that they don't get off like that much fragrance throw for the candle but I've been noticing that and of course I don't want to ever be paying full price for a candle that is not going to give off a scent. So that's why I participated in Candle Day and, of course, with the new candles coming out, like springtime and that, like I plan on getting them when they are on sale. Definitely not full price. Here I enjoyed this You're the One scented candle. This is just sort of like the body care. Definitely smells like body care. Have notes of white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. And yes, I did enjoy this. And this was actually a powerhouse in my small bedroom. Compared to mostly all the other ones I just showed you, which I don't usually expect that much from a body care like collection candle because Midnight Amber Glow that did not have any throw at all in my bedroom. So was shocked to see that you're the one did. Here we have Mary Cookie. I'm sort of disappointed by this fragrance, even though I do love, of course, the body care and Christmas cookies, Mary Cookie, but the same. But the candle sort of disappointed me in my room. 
did not really give off any of the notes as for fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar, crystals, and rich vanilla. I had to throw it in the crock towards the end, and it was sort of a light sunny mess, but the fragrance, I think the wax just turned on me, I think, halfway, and I don't know, I believe I have maybe one or two of them still available in my collection. Well, they still have in my collection, but probably will not get that one as in a candle ever again. As for this, this is a old Yankee candle, sweet strawberry house warmer candle, our strongest scented candle. I don't know what year this is from, but this was in my basement downstairs. I think my dad must have found it or something while cleaning and I think it was sort of less than halfway and yeah I really couldn't smell it but <laughs> if you see all that set that is horrible but I did enjoy having this lit didn't give off a nice uh, lighting in my room and I do love the little um, sticker labeling with the, all the strawberries so I did enjoy this as for like the packaging and all that and the scent was okay here, this is a old candle. It's from Big Lots for $5. This is apple cord. This was just in my collection and I wanted to, of course, it burned through it. Same sort of deal as within the last candle from Yankee Candle that I showed you. All that sooty mess, even though it sort of did burn okay inside and... Yeah, I just like the labeling and the light that I gave off, but it did not give off a fragrance at all. And then last candle, which I've sort of been purchasing, I'd say this is my um, second candle from the brand Homeworks by Slatkin and Co. This is Farm Stand Pumpkin. And this was a nice candle that burned all the way down this for in my living room and the scent was I would say medium throw so I do love these candles I think I got this for like $16 at TJ Maxx and you can't beat this I would say out of all the brands I purchased before from uh, I think it's DW Home, Bath and Body Works, Goose Creek and of course Homeworks they have the best packaging and you can't beat the price if you find them at TJ Maxx for uh, like $16 or so and I did enjoy this even of course when I burned it during the winter time so it was a nice scent so hopefully you stuck around of course towards the end of this video I wanted to just quickly go through all these candles since I did go through 40 of them as of December so I hopefully you enjoyed just myself discussing some of my candles as for all that I showed you so stick around for more videos thank you so much for watching and have a nice day